Dr. Lohr, K plus S released the third quarter figures today. Revenues and operating earnings were once again significantly lower. Which are the main reasons for this development? It has been a long time since K plus S has reported a quarterly loss. The main reasons are, first of all, the lower average selling prices in our business unit, potash and magnesium products. Beside that, our um, production standstills at the Vera site due to the limited deep well injection permit. And finally, the business unit salt has suffered from a weaker early fills uh, of the de-icing salt business due to the mild winter in the last season. Our cost-cutting measures could not compensate for that. Let's talk in more detail about the current situation at the Vera Potash plant. What is the state of play? The um, review of our application to continue deep well injection is ongoing. That situation had a negative impact on our EBIT of 70 million in the third quarter. We are working intensively to create additional measures for our wastewater disposal. As we speak, we have the approval to use two inactive mines. Springen and Bergmann Segen Hugo. Uh, we are working hard to create further measures, but one, sh one thing is for sure, without a deep well injection, we are not able to fully produce in the Vera Valley. The potash prices are still on a very low level. What is your outlook there? MOP prices are stabilizing. We have even seen uh, uh, an increase of MOP prices in Brazil. Surely uh, the contracts in India and China were helpful. They stimulated the market. Unfortunately, we could not fully participate in that development due to our Vera situation. Um, SOP prices are under pressure. They are decreasing, but uh, we, are come, we, we come from a very high level of SOP prices. So in total, I would say uh, I'm cautiously optimistic that the situation will relax. The nearly finalized new potash plant in Canada, Legacy, was again in focus in the third quarter. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, our repair work is on track. Currently, we have the biggest uh, available crane in Canada on site to get the damaged vessel out of the building. That's why we can confirm we will see the first ton of potash in the second quarter of next year. We will have 2 million tons capacity available at the end of 2017. What does that mean for our budget? We will moderately exceed the 4.1 billion Canadian dollars budget. But more important, we will keep our 3.1 billion euro budget because of the favorable um, currency development. And what is the current situation in your business unit salt? Due to the mild winter in the last uh, season, uh, we have high inventories and full stocks. That's why we had negative impacts on our um, early fields and prices are under pressure. That is the situation in the de-icing salt segment. But we have seen very nice and positive developments in the non-de-icing salt segments. Uh, and our brands like the Morton Salt Umbrella Girls are very helpful here. In total, we are very optimistic for the uh, future because SALT 2020 is uh, on track and we are still expecting an EBITDA of more than 400 million euros for the year 2020. We are approaching the end of the business year 2016. What can we expect regarding operating earnings for the K plus S group? Yeah, in summer, we have guided a range between 200 and 300 million euros for uh, the EBIT of 2016. Um, as we still have no solution for our deep well injection situation, uh, we have narrowed the, the range and now expect for the total year an EBIT between 200 and 260 million euros. Please keep in mind that incorporated in, in this number, we have a negative impact of two, roughly 200 million euros due to the deep well injection situation. Further down the road, we are optimistic and confirm our target of 1.6 billion euros EBITDA for the year 2020 and the entire company is committed to achieve that goal.